How's it going everyone? I'm T-Dub and today we're going to be going over how to play Rocksmith Remastered without the Rocksmith Real Tone cable. So what you want to do is go to the links in the description. You'll have one link for GitHub and one link to the cable that I use. Um, I didn't buy the cable from this website but this is the only one that I could find that's actually got them in stock. As you can see it's only £18.95 so it's quite cheap. So, go to GitHub, and once you're on GitHub, it should look like this. Scroll down, go to No Cable Launcher, and go down to Downloads, and click the download link. So once this page comes up, you'll have two files. Go over to the Download tab, which is the arrow, click Direct Download, and then click Save. Now you will need um, WinRAR, or a WinZip program to unzip this file. Once you've downloaded it, go to Downloads, and as you can see, I have my downloads here. So I'm just gonna take this to the desktop so it's easier for everyone to see. I'm gonna extract it to the desktop. There we go. And now we have these two files. You want to plug your USB cable in to your computer. Then double click edit settings. Now, if you've got the game and it's Steam registered, just click Steam game and you're done for that. For your audio, for your actual guitar cable to recognize in Rocksmith, go to player one audio devices, then devices, and then click the name of your cable that you're using or the, the USB cable. Mine's microphone line link. So that's done. Then go to input devices. Now go to playback. Um, now what you want to do is you want to make sure you have one of your audio sources as default device. So if you're listening through your headphones, put that as the default device. If it's through your main speakers, put that as default device. So once you're there, go to properties, advanced. Once you're there, make sure it's 16 bit, 48,000 Hertz DVD quality, and then go to exclusive mode. Allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Make sure that's clicked. Leave the second one blank and click OK. And once you've done that, go to recordings, scroll down and find where your uh, microphone or lead is. So mine's microphone line link. So then click that, go to properties, go to advanced, and under default format, again, make it so it's 16 bit DVD quality. And then go to exclusive mode and you want both of these on. That allows Rocksmith to take control of the actual um, lead and the drivers to make that lead work in Rocksmith. Click OK. And then OK again. And then save. And that's pretty much it. So now if I was to double click the no cable launcher, it'll start Rocksmith. And also, you need to note that this is the way you need to launch Rocksmith each time. You can't do it through Steam. This will be the, you, well, you can do it through Steam, but your guitar won't work. So do it via this button here. So we just check, see if this works. Rocksmith. Now 
as you can see, you can hear my bass, it works. So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I do stream on Twitch every day. So if you want to catch me on there, want to ask me some questions on there, feel free. Uh, the links will be in the description. Um, and I hope it works out.